Um, the long version or the short yes. version of my testimony? The long version of my testimony. I grew up in a home that was um, not um, Christian at all. Um, there was there was a God, but he was the kind of God that you hoped it didn't catch you doing anything. That, oh, thank God I didn't get in trouble for this or I didn't get caught doing that. My mom was divorced three times and so there was a lot of turmoil in my home. It wasn't, it wasn't, a, um, it wasn't stable. She started getting into some drugs and hanging out with drug people and so they came around the house a lot. And most of those people, I don't know, just aren't good people. They, they do things they shouldn't do. And I was a little girl at that time and um, there were men who took advantage of me sexually and uh, abused me. And it wasn't just one, it, you know, it happened a few times here and there. And um, at one point I even went to a foster home because something happened in our house and all us kids went into foster homes and even there it happened. So kind of you feel like it's your fault. You're responsible for what happens to you. But as I got older and realized I was a victim, my mom finally, when she got divorced, she got a job um, working a graveyard shift and she started going to college to do something with her life. And uh, at that point, I was about 11, 12, and I became the mother to my two little sisters. Fast forwarding a little bit, um, as I became a teenager, of course, my lifestyle became the same as my brothers, my mothers. Um, I met the, just the right friends and uh, did lots of drugs and drank lots of alcohol and cut school a lot. And to me, that was fun. It was a great time. Um, part of that lifestyle turns into um, the people you're hanging out with. You start becoming boyfriend and girlfriends. And so uh, I got pregnant. Um, I wasn't that young. I was probably, I was 18. I decided that I didn't want a husband, but I wanted that baby and I wanted to raise it different than I was raised. Eventually, like a couple months later, met this guy named Doug. Awesome dude. He was not like the men I knew. He was not like the men I grew up with. He was a gentleman. He was genuine. Doug and I started getting close. I realized the type of man he was. I assumed that he would not want to take a pregnant girl home to his parents and say, hey, this is my new girlfriend. So I went to my mom, who gave me no other option but said, um, let's go get an abortion. Um, mind you, by this time I'm three months pregnant, so it's not just an easy abortion. So I had to... Um, go through labor and basically deliver a dead baby. And I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that. We met in January and then um, in April we got engaged. He doesn't know anything about this thing yet. And in December we got married. Then methamphetamines is very, um, take over drug. It takes over your life and it did take over our life. We did it every day and if we didn't do it we were sleeping. Um, kept our jobs. We were we were um, pretty much functioning addicts but we kept we kept doing it and then um, I was doing speed and, and I was snorting it and every time I would do that I would throw up and so um, Eventually, I thought, hmm, something's wrong. Maybe I'm pregnant. So I went to the doctor, and I found out I was pregnant. And it had been about a month. So I talked to the doctor, and he said, you know what? Did you quit? And I said, yes, I quit. And he said, baby, you'll probably be okay. It's taken most of the good nutrients out of your body. And so um, with Dougie, I went almost full term. He was uh, six weeks early. Um, he was perfect. I, did, uh, I nursed him for about four weeks or so, and then I decided to go back into the lifestyle my husband was in. And after Dougie was about four months old, I had got pregnant again. I didn't know it though. Um, I continued that lifestyle, I was doing drugs, and 
At about five months pregnant, I felt movement and realized I was pregnant again. And then Chrissy was born, perfect. So after Chrissy was born, went back into the same lifestyle again. After a while, Doug and I just couldn't get along anymore. Uh, the drugs were just taking over. Our kids were probably four and five at this time. And we lost our house because we couldn't pay the rent because we were spending all our money on drugs. And we hadn't had a phone for years. Um, we just, it just, we lost it. And so I, me and the kids moved in with my sister in Apple Valley. And Doug stayed in the Morongo Valley area and moved into a garage with a friend at a friend's house. So we kind of separated. Um, as they took, as my life took a turn for the worst, my expectations were to get a divorce, probably go on welfare, raise my kids as best I could. Um, I had no future except raising my kids and trying to make their life a little better than mine was. I just, it's amazing how God is so good, even when you don't know him. He is there. He took care of my babies when I didn't have the smarts or wherewithal to do it. Um, he was there and he took care of them. 